Hi, my name is uh, Matt. I'm going to give you a small update on the progress I've been uh, having with the metadata injection in uh, Kettle. With metadata injection, I mean that you can uh, dynamically set uh, properties, step properties in this case, in a transformation. So, uh, in, the, in this sample that you see on your screen, we have a small transformation that uh, is uh, pretty much unconfigured. So, we have no uh, idea of where our file is going to come from. And we also have no idea of the layout, and we don't know exactly which fields need to be uh, renamed or removed or whatever, right? So the only thing we know is that uh, there's going to be a file somewhere, and it's going to have to have a couple of fields removed and a couple of fields renamed, and um, then we can store it in a, in a table somewhere. Now, the storing in a table is easy. We can already do that with variables. However, specifying the field selection and specifying a, a rename in a select values that was not possible it's not possible with variables at all because you have lists of, of uh, values whole grids that need to be defined and in any case it would be very cumbersome to to do that with uh, with variables so what we did we created a metadata injection step that allows you to inject the file name into uh, the CSV file input step so uh, same thing for the fields we can inject those into the into the transformation template basically uh, we say okay we want to rename the ID fields to demo ID and we want to remove uh, the state code in this case now um, I'm just doing this with uh, data grids and, and uh, dummy data but this this information could come from an XML file or from uh, some kind of uh, web service or you know if somebody uploaded this file to a web server for example it could uh, you know very well be uh, defined in some database right now this is how you can specify the, the transformation template to use and uh, you can simply click on, a, on an item here um, and say okay the file name this is going to come from the file name step from the file name field as you can see the top level contains the step uh, sorry the, the transformation then the step and below that you can see uh, for example the field section is the definition of all the fields in the CSV file then we have the definition of one field and then for that one field we have all the attributes that you can define in the case of the file name, uh, the, the step, the injection step, accepts one row. It expects one row at least. And for the field section, it, it ex, uh, expects, uh, you know, it can accept multiple rows basically. Uh, same thing for the select value step. There you have the fields, the removes, and the metas uh, that you can do. In the case of the renaming, we use the metadata rename option and we remove with the, with the remove name. So uh, this is uh, this is about it. So if you execute this one, um, you can see it basically uh, execute the transformation after the injection has been done, and you can see it picks up the correct file and it reads uh, about a million rows. So this proves that uh, the injection happened, that the file, you know, the fields were read, etc., etc. Now. Um, how is this made possible? Well, obviously this is not something that was uh, available uh, generically. So what we had to do to make this possible was create a generic interface that allowed a step to express all the required or the, the available uh, properties, metadata properties for a specific step. So what I first did for this is for, for example, CSV input. I created like an attribute enumeration, but the plan is to is to move this off to uh, a CSV file somewhere. Now, uh, oh sorry, an XML file somewhere. Now, this uh, enumeration contains the XML property. Uh, let's take this one, an XML property, uh, the XML tag name in that uh, step node. We also have the field um, that. Uh, defines the repository uh, code in the in the enterprise repository, for example. 
the name, the description, the tooltip in the in the user interface and the name in the user interface, so that we can list this in the in the user interface uh, in the injection step. Then we have an indication of the type that uh, the type of data that the injection accepts. And for the type of data, we usually pick string because uh, it's it's a lot easier to say okay the the data type, for example, is a integer and so we put the string integer and we, we convert that into the internal data type that we need and then we also have a parent and this is basically the hierarchy that you can see in the, in the user interface of the metadata injection step so uh, this is it um, so I think we can we can convert this to XML maybe add uh, hints for getters and setters and do a little bit of reflection so that we can uh, make the step in the metadata injection also more generic at the time for the time being we uh, created a step meta injection interface that basically says hey you know uh, there's one method that returns this uh, so the get step meta injection interface was added to the step meta interface uh, to signal okay if, if this returns null then the step is not capable of accepting uh, metadata from the outside world in a generic fashion and if you uh, do return something then uh, then you can so in this case we we do have two methods defined inject uh, step metadata entries so and this says basically if it's a file name then we uh, define the file name field from that entry um, that's basically it we, we do have a couple of uh, data conversions that are going on maybe a boolean conversion stuff like that but uh, beyond that it's uh, it's pretty simple uh, stuff uh, the this is something I would like to make more generic in the future so I'm, I'm sure we can do this with a little bit more generical uh, generic uh, stuff even uh, this is already uh, something that is now um, you know stored in an input field text file input field I think we can make this also more generic uh, with a little bit of reflection or hinting and uh, the description since most of that information is already stored in the attributes we can uh, we have this in a very generic fashion available as well so uh, this simply loops and, and, and picks up parents and, and uh, describes this to the outside world the step meta injection uh, user interface and step in a generic fashion so the same uh, methods uh, you can see in the select values meta class. All right. So this is basically also the same thing. Um, pretty much the same code. So I'm, I'm sure we can refactor that a bit uh, in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this uh, small update. Um, feel free to uh, give feedback or let me know if you like it or not. Have a great day. Bye.